Hi, Dr. Lim here. Today we shall start the lecture on the Sanghan Lun. Most ancient texts, due to scarcity of writing material and tedious to copy the book, most writing are in stanza form, sometimes in the form of gatha, in poetic stanza, which is easier for people to read and memorize. Similarly, Chang Chong Jing wrote down the teaching in the short articles consisting of only a few lines of writing, very concise but enough to convey the teaching. There are a total of 398 articles, almost 400 in total. We are going to, co we are going to cover it article by article. Before we discuss the first article, first let us recap our previous teaching about herbology. Chang Chong Ching grouped his teaching in Sang An Lun by six section diagnostic theory. Liu Jing Pianzhen, which leads to our hexagenous theory in genotherapy. If you have not remember what it is, please go back to my previous lectures on hexagenous reflexology and body system. Our body system can be divided into external and internal section, which we call exogenous section or exo section or simply exo in short, endogenous section or endo section or just simply and no, in short. Sometimes the symptom is intermediate or exists in both external and internal together. We call it interogenous section or interosection or simply as intero. If the system is due to weak metabolism, we call it yin or sometimes in a small letter yin. If metabolism is excessive, we call it yang or small letter yang. Each section we can, uh, it can be weak or in excess. So we have six categories. Exo-yin, exo-yang, intero-yin, intero-yang, endo-yin, and endo-yang. Chang Chong Ching was the first doctor who put up the diagnostic observation system, Wang Wen Wen Che, meaning to observe, to listen, to ask, and to take the pause. Sometimes you see uh, the marking of the Chinese spell spelling. This is due to four senses in Chinese language. If you are not interested in the language, just ignore it you know, in my lecture. This has been covered in my previous lecture too. Please go back and watch over the uh, concerning lecture about the four diagnosis system. I shall also bundle the previous lecture in the formal teaching of Sang Han Lun in the same playlist so it is easier for you to refer. When a patient comes to you, first you observe him. Is his metabolism weak or in excess? Is the problem external or internal? Is the body fruit dehydrated or congested? If the body temperature circulation are leading to any heat congestion or cold limbs due to lack of circulation. My peer observation may not be sufficient, then you started to listen no, to the patient about his health or complaint. For the complaint, you get a general picture of his metabolism state. Then you started to ask questions no, to confirm what you suspect to find out more about his body state. Finally, you take the pause no, to conclude his metabolistic state is weak or excessive. And you can observe his tongue. No, is the body food dehydrated or congested, the blood circulation causing any blockage or stasis or not. This can be seen in the tongue observation. A boost is known as surgeon or for diagnosis. When it comes to treatment, there are also four steps, li fa fang yao, meaning diagnostic, diagnosis, treatment, formulations, and herbs. Herbs are here mean all type of medicines so, and treatment, including minerals, chemicals, even acupuncture and massage and etc. After the diagnosis, we need to decide the treatment. For example, the diagnosis in diagnosis, the patient is suffering from exogenous fever, which can be treated with induced sweating. Diagnosis uh, concluded that it is extra fever. Fever treatment is sweat induction. To induce sweating. We may apply the lick soap 
or the formulation uh, in uh, Sanghan Lun, the, the, the famous Kui Zi Tang or Cinnamon Thick Concussion, which we shall cover it in great details. Say you decided on leek soup, then you choose leek to promote sweating, you know. Okay, tomato to balance the water osmosis in the body and prevent excessive sweating. Uh, that may cause dehydration. The ginger to promote the circulation uh, on the extra sections or dates or jujube to enhance the stomach system. So the formulation is uh, leek in a, is leek soap which should promote sweating but not overdoing it. Improve the circulation to help it sweating, enhance the stomach system, enhance the stomach system to facilitate absorption of fruit, fruit to facilitate sweating. The formulation lead to the selection of leek, tomato, ginger, and dates as the herbs. As you can see, the herbology explained in Sanghanun is very scientific in the approach. Not as many modern therapists claim that herbology is not a science but arbitrarily art. It's true that some people apply the herbs arbitrarily. This is due to ignorance in knowledge, not due to insufficiency in herbology. Chang Chongqing is the first medical scholar that put the science of four diagnoses and four processes in treatment systematically. In genotherapy, we always say our body always tries to talk to us about its problem, but we do not understand the knowledge. So, Sang Hanun is teaching you the language of the body, which Chang Chongqing called it the symptoms. In genotherapy, we stated that we do not treat the disease, we treat the body. The body treats the disease. This is the core teaching of ancient Ayurveda and the main teaching in Sang Hanun too. Even though the title of the book mentions harmful diseases, disease here means imbalance in the body system, not the modern disease like flu, hepatitis, or AIDS, etc. This immediately differentiates the science in Sang Hanun and modern medicines. Modern medicines try to cure disease. When you have a flu, then they try to cure the flu. When you even uh, cannot cure the common flu, then they say that the flu is incurable. Chang Chong Jing is, is an expert in flus. In flu, we broadly classify them as lung or pneumatic flu, stomach or gastric flu, muscle or nerve flu, or are incurable in modern medicines. Doctors only give you some medicines to lower the fever and reduce the pain and let your immune system to restore back your health. Chang Chong Jing did not deal with the flu. He deal with symptoms, the language of the body. He did not treat the flu, he treated the symptoms. In, pneumo in a pneumonic flu, where the patient is having difficulty in breathing, he used herbs that can ease the breathing and detox the body through sweatings. In gastric flu, he strengthened the stomach system and detox through sweating or induced urination. In muscle flu, he relaxed the muscle and detox the body. All symptoms disappear in one or two days instead of going through the seven days or longer immune cycle. Did Chang Chong Jing cure the flu? No, he cured the body. For the first article, he started to teach you, teach us about the symptoms. All the symptoms were summed up into diagnosis. From the diagnosis, the treatment method are chooses. And this lead to formulation of herbal combination and finally the chosen herbs. So the study of herbology is not the study of herbs. It's a study of the body system and the language of the body without understanding the body system by studying thousands of herbs. You become a good botanist, not a therapist. So let's go to the first article of Sanghan Lun. Article number one. The symptoms of exogenous section are throat pulse, headache, stiff neck, and aversion to cold. This article explains the main symptoms to define exogenous problem. When you see any of these symptoms, you know it is exogenous. When we are checking the pulse, there are three main observations. The depth, the strength, and the Red. For the depth, if it is a fruit pulse or deep pulse, when you put your, your finger softly, you know, to take the pulse, you can send the pulse, then the pulse, uh, then press it firmly, the pulse actually becomes weaker, then it is a fruit pulse. 
The blood vessel that carry the blood flow is a complicated membrane. When the exosexon is suffering from infection, the blood will flow more to the surface of the body. The membrane of the blood vessel become more firm. So when you send the pulse, it, it is at the surface and floats to the touch. When we feel the strength, then we feel the strength of the pulse. Is it soft pulse or a firm pulse? Soft pulse indicates weak metabolism and firm indicates uh, excessive metabolism. This is much like the rubber water tip. If the water flow is weak, then when you press the tip, it is soft to touch. If the water flow is strong, the tip becomes firm and hard or solid. Last, we check the rate of the pulse. Is it beating fast or slow? If faster than normal, may mean the patient is suffering from fever. If slower than before, the metabolism is weak and the body is cold, lacking warmth. Pulse taking is important to check the ailment is exogenous or endogenous. The metabolism is weak or in excess. The body is suffering from fever or lack of warmth. When a person is suffering from exogenous ailment, fever always occurs. In exo fever, the, the patient actually feels cheers and aversion to cold and wind. Why is it so? This is due to the temperature sensing, sensing gate of the skin. We send the environment temperature by the difference between the external temperature and the body temperature. When the temperature is below the body temperature, we feel cold. When above, we feel hot. However, during exo fever, the temperature of skin had risen. Then the body still feels the ambient temperature by temperature gate sensing. The ambient temperature becomes much lower than the skin temperature and we actually feel chills and cold. From this understanding, we actually can predict someone is going to suffer from fever even before he realized it. The observation is simple. When someone complains that the air is chill, when all others feel that the air temperature is okay, then the chill feeling people is going to suffer fever soon because the temperature of his skin has risen and the difference between the ambient temperature and the skin temperature has widened, leading to sensation of chills. Feeling chills in the air is the first sign that flu and fever are going to develop. If a person does not do anything to riot, very soon he will suffer flu, fever, headache, body pains, and sometimes stomach disorder. When I am traveling, traveling, suddenly I feel the air is chilling and I am sensitive to the flow of wind, then I know I am going to catch flu and fever. There are a few things that I can do. First is to take a hot shower. When our body is uh, overexposed to cold, like aircon or strong wind and all exhausted from work, infection of virus and bacteria may happen. That would cause, cause flu, fever and body pains. The most direct remedy you can adopt quickly is to take a hot bath. You know that your body is in trouble. Even the sour water is warm for the first few seconds. Actually, you feel chills and sometimes breaking pains on the skin. So a hot sour is a test on your body. If your skin re reacts with chill and pains for the first few seconds, meaning the flu and fever is already developing. During the shower, you should keep rubbing your body, you know, rubbing your body until the scent of chills disappear. When you feel good and normal, then you should stop the shower as soon as do not over bath with hot water. That will create another problem. Second method is to take something to soothe the stomach and induce a bit of sweating. Tomato juice and tomato soup is good. When long traveling in flight, you know, when I'm feeling chill, I always ask for a glass of tomato juice. After taking some rest, sometimes a bit of sweat is induced, the feeling of chill is gone. Other than tomatoes, uh, some vegetables like onions, leeks, ginger, etc. can induce some sweating, which I shall discuss in great detail in future section. Last but not least, is to take some 500 mg to 1000 mg of aspirin or paracetamol or some uh, over-the-counter pain killer like Panadol with warm sugar water. Sugar can protect the stomach from uh, the side effect of the drugs. Uh, then take rest 
and be quiet for about 20 minutes, most of the time it induces a bit of sweating. And this is the most common method we are applying. We can apply it. Actually, this is the method taught to me by my uncle. He also seldom suffers from flus and fever. Whenever my family members or associates complain about cheer, this is the easiest advice I can give to them. Many of my herbal students, especially from Europe, you know, are very disappointed that in the first chapter of herbology, I asked them to use aspirin or painkiller to treat axial fever. We are supposed to be organic food promoter, the natural therapy, hardcore believer, then why over-the-counter drugs? The answer is simple. For emergency and ease of application, normally a person may suffer flu and fever four to five times a year, taking a few pains killer may not harm your health. On the onset of flu and fever, we must take immediate action alone. Many times we just do not have tomato, onion or leek standby. While traveling, we also do not bring along this uh, veggie with us. So on practical application, this is essential. I never want to train my students until they become organic monarchs, that everything must be organic whether it is practical or not. We are only against the abuse of medical drugs, like long-term taking of painkiller or manage the pain. When I am in Germany, due to cold weather and a lot of senior citizens, pain management is a big issue. Uh, uh, then the reverse happened. Instead of taking a pain killer, they advised to take the exogenous herbs uh, and veggie and manage the pains effectively. We shall not uh, attach to rule and regulation like a worshipper, but always apply good sense in treating people. Most of the nerve system are in exogenous section, so in exo illness, body pains are common. Normally, headache, Neck stiffness and pains are uh, muscle and joint pains are uh, sometimes stomach pains are uh, oftenly found. Pains should be treated in an uh, emergency using the pain scular, which normally did not solve the problem. But using veggie and herbs, it can be treated effectively, which we, which we shall discuss in the future sections. In summary, for hexogenous system, the pulse is float, the fever is with cheers. The body experiences pains like headache, stiff neck, muscle, or joint pains. The body has external skin and internal skin. The skin covers the whole body. Eh? It's external skin. The lining that covers the lung, gastrointestinal, uh, bladder, and wombs are also exogenous. So exo symptoms sometimes cause asthma or heavy breathing, nausea or loose motion, viral infection in urination problem, and etc which we shall cover in separate sections. Now we go to article number two. Exo symptoms coming with fever, sweatings, aversion to wind, headache, stiff neck, and a float and soft pulse are called exo yin symptoms. In all the sections, when the metabolism is weak, we call it a yin symptom. If the metabolism is excessive or, or over the normal, we call it the yang symptoms. So how to tell if the exogenous is yin or yang? We can differentiate by checking the strength of the pulse eh? and the fruit osmosis. If the pulse is soft eh, and weak, it is yin. If it is firm and solid, it is yang. Uh, if the rate of the pulse normally is not the indicator of yin and yang. Yin symptoms sometimes can have a fast but weak pulse. Next is the fruit osmosis. If the metabolism is weak, the fruit osmosis control is weakened. This leads to external and internal sweating. External external sweating is the wet skin. Internal sweat is a discharge into the gastrointestinal system that causes nausea, vomit, and loose motion. As we have discussed before, the external surface is the area that covers the outer surface of the body. Internal soft surface are the lining of the lung, gastrointestinal system, and the, like the esophagus, stomach, intestine, and colon, the womb lining in woman, kidney, and bladder lining. Even lung and stomach are inside the body as they, as they contact to the external world. The, the like lung contact with air in atmosphere, gastrointestinal, take in water and food from outside, the lining are considered as exogenous 
section. When the metabolism is weak, osmosis of the fruit in the body become loose and resulted in wet, wet skin. Eh? Uh, mean uh, slight sweating on the surface and discharge of toxin into the lung and gastrointestinal uh, 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 organ, causing asthma, nausea, vomit, and loose motion. If a person is suffering lung and stomach disorder, like asthma and vomiting, we must check the pulse and the tongue. If the pulse is fluid and the tongue does not change much in texture and color, then the problem is exogenous. This is to differentiate the exo and endo system. Also, what is not covered in this article is the observation of tongue. In an uh, exogenous system, the tongue body, the color is normal, uh, no excessive red or dark color. The coating of tongue is also thin and not thickened, which means the texture of the tongue is relatively normal. If the tongue body becomes red and dark, the coating turns into various colors like yellow, dark, and etc. Then uh, the coating becomes thick or, or absent of coating. The problem is no longer exogenous in nature. The disease has attacked inward. If the tongue is a pill, then it is yin. If, if the teeth is a radius and the tongue body is not pale, then it is young. In summary, a weak pulse and a wet skin or voluntary sweating is an indication of weak metabolism and classified into yin symptom. Article 3. Exo symptoms, whether fever is developed or not, as long as there is aversion to cold, headache, stiff neck, bodily pains, Nausea and vomiting, no sweat. At top, mid and below pulse are, are fruit and tense. It's called exo young symptoms. If the skin is dry and not sweating, the pulse tense, eh? then the symptom is a young symptom, indicating excessive metabolism. This is an important observation which you should always remember to differentiate between yin and yang exo symptoms. The tense pile is like firm and a tense pipe when this is filled with water. The touch is solid in nature and not soft or weak. This is to differentiate the weak and soft piles of the yin symptoms. For exo yang, Sometimes the ailment uh, do affect the lung lining and stomach lining, causing painting or asthma, nausea, and vomit. These symptoms are also exist in uh, exogen. So you have to check the pulse no? and the tongue carefully. Soft pulse is yin, firm and solid pulse is yang. Pure tongue is yin, a bit radius is yang. This is the first observation technique you have to master in the beginning to differentiate exogen and exo yang. And the treatment for both is not the same. Article number four. On the first day of uh, exo symptoms, the ear symptom is exogenous. If the pulse is relatively tranquil, this means the disease does not advance deeper. If strong nausea, mania, and agitation develop, and the pulse is faster and rapid, means the disease is have developed at once into a deeper section. When the exo symptoms are present, we should be careful so that the symptoms do not worsen and develop into deeper section of the body. This can be checked by observing the pulse. The pulse remains as in the initial state of exogenous ailment, do not turn fast and rapid, the tongue relatively unchained, uh, no variation of the tongue body and thickness of coating, the emotion is relatively calm, then the, then the disease does not develop inward and not aggravated. However, if the, if the emotion of the patient uh, turns restless, agitated, and not logical, uh, which we call the mania stage is uh, developed, it is a bad sign as the disease is already developed inward. In future section, there are treatment on this to prevent the disease getting worse. To prevent the disease from turning bad is an important prevention therapeutic skill. It is constantly discussed in Sangandon and you need not worry uh, about the treatment now. Article number 5. When on the second or third day of exo symptoms, supposed to advance into endo and interosection but lacking loose symptoms, only exo symptoms are observed, meaning the disease is not aggravated. 
After a few days of suffering the exogenous symptom, the exo symptom remain, meaning we can proceed to treat it as exo illness. Sometimes the patient only come to us after they are suffering from fever or food for a few days. If the symptom is exogenous, lacking the in, inner aggravation like strong and rapid pulse, agitated emotion, which is inner yang or, or the opposite, dull and withdrawn, which is inner yin, then the treatment uh, uh, cannot be pure treatment for exogenous uh, if it is uh, inner yang or inner yin. Sometimes the, ch the child is having fever and the parents are worried. Is it serious? Taking on the exogenous and endo endogenous system, we can tell. If the symptom is exogenous, then nothing to worry about. In the exogenous symptom, normally the mouth does not have a funny feeling or taste. If the mouth feel bitter, salty, and sweat, it means the disease has already attacked inward. Bitter means uh, uh, liver or heat uh, uh, or heart uh, heat condition. Salty means a kidney problem. Sweetness means heart problem. Watery means the lung water condition. A dry and kidney throat means heart or heat uh, condition, and etc. In Sang Han Lun, various treatments are proposed, so you need not worry about it at this moment. In summary, for Article 1 to 5, you should learn whether the symptom is exogenous or not. If exogenous, any danger for the disease to develop in it or not. If you still have any doubt, you should read the above articles again and again until you fully understand it. Most ancient texts are in short article or stanza so that you can memorize it. If you are lazy, then read it again and again. As Confucian say, Confucius say, revision of learned subject many times lead to new discovery and new learning. I have studied Sang Lun for more than 30 years. I still read through all articles regularly and many times I discover new learning even today. So I do hope you keep it a habit to keep reading and revise the article again and again. See you again. Bye-bye.